This is my 1-11. to um, Hasn't been easy. I'm going for a 4-2 four, four formation. I've been privileged to be to play be, uh, in front of um, some top quality keepers. Nigel Martin, Shea Given at Newcastle, Nicky Casillas, who's won the World Cup and European Championship twice. Over 100 and so many caps for Spain. But I'm going to go with someone who had an impact on my career as well, so I'm going to go for Nigel Martin. Top bloke, always wore the same gear, denim shirt, black jeans, black shoes. I hadn't got the best dress sense in the world, but a phenomenal keeper and I'm, I'm putting him in there instead of a World Cup winner. On to my defence, I'm going to start on my right back. It's two right backs I've got in mind. Uh, I'm going to go with Gary Kelly. Tremendous career, great, great influence on me again, off the pitch and on the pitch. Uh, he's fantastic for the club. And then I've got Sergio Ramos, right back, he's 27 years old now. He's got 115 caps up to now for Spain. Won the World Cup European Championships twice. Even in training, he could play centre midfield. He, could, he was awesome on the ball as well, going forward. And he could play centre half as well as he, as he has done for Spain. I've got to put him in my team. I've got him having him as right back. I'm sorry, Gary. I apologise, but I have to leave you out for a World Cup winner in Sergio Ramos. Left back. Again, I played with some, some very, very good left backs. Ian Hart, Roberto Carlos of Real Madrid. He was just awesome going forward. I've never seen a pair of thighs like them in my life. I couldn't take my eyes off them. I was looking at them thinking, what happened? what's in them? I'll have to go Roberto Carlos. I'm sure Ian will understand. Centre halves, um, Lucas Radderby played with at Leeds. He taught me loads. All the Leeds fans loved him and we used to call him the chief. Rio Ferdinand. <sighs> He's got to be one of the best, best defenders in English history for me. Um, he come to to Leeds for 20 million. And it was good for me as well because I could learn off him and I could always push myself to see if I'd get as good as him. And he's just a terrific player. So Rio's my number one centre half. Uh, next to him, everyone, everyone puts him in. Every, I think I've watched every every show and whoever's played with the Leeds put him in. Yeah. Now I've like I've had injuries in my career. I've never seen anything like this knee. He couldn't bend it, he couldn't properly straighten it. He trained on Friday, do a little Five aside, and Harry would say, Mark, how are you feeling? Go, don't know, let me show it tomorrow. That Saturday will come. Harry again, how would you feel? Yeah, I'm fine. Got to be the best player on the pitch. Left foot, right foot, good in the air, quick. Mark anyone out the game. Top, top, top defender. Can I go forwards first? Number nine, Alan Shearer. When I went to Newcastle, I didn't just want to impress the manager and the fans, I wanted to impress him. As soon as I saw him, I just thought, oh my God. I like play, well, did play against him and it was possibly the hardest game I've had. I mean, played against him in Duncan Ferguson and battery from pillar to post. But he has to be my, my number one striker. Along with Ronaldo, has to be my second one. The real Ronaldo, the Brazilian. He was just one of the nicest footballers I think I've ever met. Invite me around the house for dinner and stuff and pool and we'd go out together. He'd take me to his restaurants and stuff when he went out in, in Madrid and I got on really well with him. But like, in matches and that, he was just, he had that burst of pace and everyone thought he was, like, fat. No chance, when he took his top off, he was ripped. If I was playing against him in training, and I'd say, right, then you won't score. He said, I bet you I will. So we'd have, a, like, a bet on it, do you know what I mean? He would score and he'd always score. I could never stop him from scoring. And there was one day I said, right, I think it was 100, 100 euro. You won't score today, he scored three. Oh, sick. It's me being stupid, though, trying to play against him. The players I've left out up front are, like, Raul. Paducah, Fowler, Alan Smith, Robbie Keane. I'd love to try and get him in my team, but I think it's a bit impossible. I can't get him in, I wish I could, because I, I love playing with him. But I just couldn't get him in, and his chin's too big, so never mind. On to my midfield, Zidane. Obvious choice. One of the greatest players in the world. Six foot two, Zidane. I couldn't believe it when I saw him. I was like, how big are you? Like, because didn't, I didn't think that. His style across the pitch and the way he moved and that, it was just like, it was on a, on, a, on a different level from anyone I've ever played with, but really slim. 12 and a half stone, maybe. Tops, but like, really slim, but like big legs again. And another centre midfield, like I mentioned, David Batty, Gary Speed, Kieran Dyer at Spurs, Luka Modric, fantastic. But I was watching him in training thinking, oh my word. Like, it's, it's again, it's his first touch. Not the quickest. But over the first five yards, rapid. And he was only slight as well, but he had these massive, he had a big set of legs in his calves and that. Amazing legs, aren't they? It's up with me. 
I'm sorry, the centre midfielder left out, but I'm going to have to put Luka Modric in. Right midfield. I'm debating who to go for here. Because of a player called Gooty. Awesome. Beckham. He's just an ability. He's won leagues everywhere he's played. Top fella. I'm going to go with Beckham. I have to. I can't not. The best thing about him is when he got left out of the England, when McLaren said, I remember I was sat next to him on the plane, we were just going to um, set off to America. He got the phone call, off, I think it was off, it was off McLaren anyway. He said, uh, listen, David, you're not blah, 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 I'm not going to be in the next squad. So he went to me, that was McLaren, that I'm not in the squad. I went, what? He went, I'm not in. He went, I'll get back in, though. He said, I'll, I'll be back in. I won't, I won't be giving up that easy. And he got back in and he proved people wrong and he did that the same with Capello. When Capello left him out and he was training on his own, he worked so hard, got back in the team and they won the league. Won the league in PSG, Man United, Real Madrid, he's, he's in my team. Harry Kill's got to be in amongst it. Mendieta, Stewie Downing, Bill. I think if Spurs had kept all of them this season, they'd have got in the top four. But I was playing at the start with him. He wasn't really playing, to be honest. And I was thinking to myself, well, you're in training, you're unbelievable. I remember doing some running after one game, and we're doing like box to like box to boxes across the pitch. We're just doing these strides, and I'm like bursting. And next thing, Gareth's got another gear, and I'm thinking to myself, "Oh my word, how quick are you?" And he just took it into games. Him and Benoit down that left for Spurs were unbelievable, weren't they? I even think this season at Madrid he's been he's been top notch. First season he's got about 11 assists and 12 goals or something. Bale has to go with my team as a left winger. That's my team. But I need to put a bench in. I've played that many clubs and stuff, and it's not fair. I'm having a bench, yeah? Casillas, Radaby, Gooty, Raul. Just for the season that he had, I'm going to go with Lee Boyer for his Champions League heroics with Leeds. It was hard. It was really hard. That'll probably change tomorrow, that. But I'm done now. Join the Magic Man, Paul Merson and myself on the Fantasy Football Club every Friday night on Sky Sports.